Uh, hello everyone, uh, this is Anmol Gera and today we are going to discuss uh, code forces round 6, 9th division 3. So let's start with the problem C. So in problem C, the question is pretty straightforward like you know, we can choose any index i such that i should be in between 1 to n starting position in the array and this could be the starting position. What we have to do is while i is less than equal to n add ai to your score and move the chip ai positions to the right basically replace i with i plus ai if i less than n then polycap ends the game so we have to just you know, basically uh, see out the total sum of these ais so the test cases you can see i think i'm assuming that you have already read the question so okay so how can we approach this uh, okay, so from every from every index, basically we can check that you know what would be the maximum sum for like you know from index zero we can calculate what would what would be the maximum sum. Now similarly, it can go to similarly from index one, similarly from two, similarly from three. You know, it's so it's basically a recursive code. Let's just let's just like discuss the code. I think there's nothing to discuss much. We just have to do recursion. Okay, so let me just zoom in a bit. Okay, so what I've done is um, normally you know I have taken input taken an input. Okay, I've created a vector. Uh, I've taken मतलब taken an input taken an input like in the form of a vector and similarly now I've called DFS from every index. Now what this DFS will do now, uh, this DFS will help us in calculating the max sum we can get if we do the procedure you know as mentioned in the question. So DFS is basically I have a, I have a vector A and index IDX and int sum. So if idx is greater than a dot size minus one basically if i have crossed the vector then simply vector size and simply return or i'm just adding that value to my sum and this is this and let's just like leave this for a minute if sum is greater than max and max is equal to sum and this is let's just leave this for a minute too okay and similarly i'm now adding idx plus a idx when i'm just adding the value a i d x in the index and i'm calling dfs from that particular index so this is just, this is this is like normal dfs so but you know if we'll do this now to we'll get tle well if we'll not memorize it we'll get tle so what i've done now so i've just created a visited vector of the required size so the question was 2 into 10 by 5 so it's 2 into 10 power 5 plus 5 I've initialized this visited uh, vector with minus one and here and similarly I'm just calling from every index I'm checking if the visited uh, vector is not equal to minus one so you know it, it, already, it, it already contains the maximum sum from that particular index right so we don't really have to do anything and similarly this is so this is in this way you know we can do this question the time limit was exponential before but due to this visited array it, it has become polynomial yeah so this was the code i think honestly speaking i did not really emphasize much on explaining because this is really nothing to explain it's a normal recursive question uh, thank you